Hello, how are you? I think you are well. We are meeting about 4 months after the last video. So in this tutorial I hope to share with you, how to create a pattern in Inkscape. I have planned this tutorial in two parts. Part 1 and Part 2. So now you are watching Part 1 video. In this video we will learn how to create this pattern. You can see in this pattern, symmetrical shapes are placed everywhere. And, this has a single color. I know you see two colors in this, but I have added the background color separately. The color, can be changed in the Inkscape pattern window. This is the basic design of the pattern, the first thing, we do is design this part. So, let's see how to do this. Take pen tool, then select Spiro path, and, shape set to ellipse. Now, you can create, Spiro paths like this. Then go to Rectangle tool and now we have to create 500 by 500 pixel rectangle. That is the tile size of this pattern. I change the rectangle color. I change to this color. Now create another rectangle for 250 by 250 pixels. As you can see, its size is exactly a quarter of the tile size. I'm moving it here. Now hold control key and rotate like this. Make it 45 degrees. Now create a circle. Remember to hold the control key. I make it small. Then create duplicate by pressing Ctrl plus D. I need 13 couple of circles with a gap between them. Select all, create a duplicate. Then I create a group by pressing Ctrl plus G. Again create a duplicate. Then move it here. Right click and select ungroup. I delete these circles. Right click again and select group. Now reduce the size. Move it here. Then create a guide like this. Again this has to be ungrouped. Move it here. Delete this circle. Move these shapes like this. If you want to take up an object for one step, 
press page up key. Now we can start our design. Change nodes like this. We do this with Spiro paths, so it's very easy to change. They are very flexible. I flip this horizontally by pressing H. Change the thickness of these Spiro paths like this. You can see there is a separate node for that. I think if you create this slowly, you will be able to increase the quality because as you can see, there are many subtle adjustments. I will reduce the thickness of this because I think it will be better.
Now our design is complete. I select these paths by holding shift key. Next we have to convert these strokes to paths. Before doing this, remember to complete the design because you can't change it again. Go to paths, select strokes to paths. Now cut out the unnecessary parts like this. I create a rectangle and move it here. Then select both. Go to path select difference. I use the pen tool here. Select, go to path, difference. Now select all, hold shift key, Deselect rectangle, and these circles. Rotation center set to this point. Now we are going to flip this object horizontally and vertically. Create a duplicate and press H to flip horizontally. Again duplicate, then press V to flip vertically. Again, duplicate, then press H. Select these two circles. We didn't flip them. Change rotation center. Create a duplicate, press V. Hide the rectangle. Select all. You can see a lot of paths here. Go to paths. Select Union. Now there is only one path. Unhide the rectangle, then select and create a group. Check if the rotation center is here. Then hold Control key, rotate like this. Move it to this corner. Now the rotation center should be set to this point. Again we are going to flip this object horizontally and vertically. Create duplicate, then press H. Again duplicate, press V, duplicate, press H. Select these four objects. Now ungroup them. We don't need these rectangles now. Delete them. 500 pixel rectangle is here. We don't need that? Delete it. Then select all. Create union. Now you must remember this well. We set the color of this object as an undefined color because after we create the pattern, we can change color in the Inkscape pattern window. If you don't do it this way, you won't be able to change the color again. Go to fill and stroke. No stroke paint. 
Fill set as an undefined color. Then go to Object, select Pattern, click Object to Pattern. You can see now the path changed to a rectangle. I'm moving it here. Now create a rectangle. Then go to Fill and Stroke. We are going to apply the pattern here. Pattern. You can see how it works. Change color like this. I create another rectangle as a background. Press the page down key to place an object below. I change the background color like this. Then I change the pattern color. If you want to convert the pattern back into an object, go to Object, select Pattern, click Pattern to Object. Now you can see it was converted to an object with a path. You can change it, but you have only one path because we changed it to a union. Everything is arranged properly. I think this pattern is beautiful and simple. What do you think about this? Especially about this video. Did you find it helpful? Please comment below. I would like to know how you feel about it. So in the next video, that means in part 2 video, I hope to share with you about another pattern with several colors. So I hope you will watch that too. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe the channel. See you in the next video.